days after a successful negotiation for a peace deal between Russia and Ukraine. Gunfire rings out. Ukrainian troops and rebel forces faced a deadline to start pulling back heavy weaponry from the front lines on Tuesday, but failed in doing so. The fighting was focused in a government-held town surrounded by rebels, a highly contested area that both sides claimed to be on their side of the ceasefire line. Ukrainian officials say several troops were ambushed, taken prisoner, but denied rebel claims that they had seized control over the disputed area. Meanwhile, U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Victoria Nuland called for an immediate end to the hostilities. We are very concerned about the ongoing violence in Debaltseva. We are very concerned that the separatists and the Russians who support them have not yet allowed the OSCE access to Debaltseva, that there is yet no ceasefire there. While a U.N. Security Council vote was delayed over the weekend, Russia is now pushing for a new vote on a draft resolution to endorse ceasefire agreements, calling for all parties involved to participate. The war in eastern Ukraine has already killed more than 5,600 people and displaced more than a million. Emily Roseman, The Associated Press.